Now to the tragic story of a crash that killed a young girl in Chautauqua County. This is seven-year-old Emmeline Wilcox. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ali Tui has more on the circumstances that led to that deadly crash in the town of Pomfret. It's traumatizing. Giovanni Penne says he was headed to Jamestown on Route 60 Monday when he passed a crash moments after it happened. I had my hand over my mouth the entire time like, hey, you know, I hope, I hope she survives. I hope, you know, I hope God is well all the way. State police say seven-year-old Emmeline Wilcox was sitting in the backseat of this Kia while her mom was waiting to make a left-hand turn when she was rear-ended, pushing her into oncoming traffic and into the path of a tractor trailer. For me, I couldn't sleep last night. That's why he came back to the scene Tuesday with a teddy bear and balloons. Pena says the pink balloon is for Wilcox. And this purple one here is for the New York State Trooper, who he saw working on her moments after the crash. I knew that he was trying to do everything he could in his power to, you know, to save her. Whoever was on the scene, they were trying to, you know, they were doing what they had to do. State police are trained to respond to an emergency, but they say Monday's crash is hitting them especially hard. This is a very, you know, tragic event, and uh, it's very hard to, you know, just wrap your mind around something like this, even with first responders. They're just doing the best they can. To Wilcox was a first grader at Casadega Valley's Sinclair Elementary School. The district sent out an automated call Monday night to all parents and staff, alerting them to what had happened. And grief counselors were on hand for students and staff Tuesday. School officials say Emmeline would hug the building principal every morning. It's just a devastating experience for the faculty and staff, the adults in the building who knew her uh, as she moved throughout her day. She was a sweetheart and, and uh, it's just a tragedy. The crash remains under investigation. It's unclear whether any of the drivers involved will face charges. Meantime, many in the community are feeling the loss alongside Emmeline's family. She didn't have to be my daughter for me to, you know, feel this way. Can happen to anybody. In Palm Fred. Ali Tui, 7 Eyewitness News.